Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Matthew Sim. Welcome to my channel. If you are new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Today we're going to be taking a look at a little GPS we've got. But before we do that, check this out guys. I'm currently running a competition for this Rolalo 787. It is fully carbon fiber, ready to run. It just looks absolutely incredible. I've only used it once. So check the links in the description if you do want to enter the competition for this awesome RC car. And today we are bringing out these big boys. This is a um, Armour Limitless. This is only the V1, but man, it's still amazing. We're gonna be testing the GPS in this, so stay tuned for that. But first guys, let's take a look at the GPS and see what it's capable of. So I'm always getting questions like, uh, what GPS do you use? And that is what we're going to be taking a look at today. It's called the GNS Performance Analyzer GSM020. And it's from Sky RC. Hey guys, don't mind my mess, but uh, yeah, as you can see, this is the box and it's pretty standard. You just get like a USB-C and a little destruction manual for your convenience and how to use it. But I'm going to show you how to connect it anyway. Now, as far as I remember last time, it had a micro USB and now it has like a USB-C. This is great because I have something like the Fly Sky Noble here. As you can see here, you have a USB-A port, which I can now use to charge not just my GPS, but my GoPro and my phone if I need to while I'm on the fly, if I ever forget. I definitely like that all electronics are going to be using USB-C. It's such a universal port, I love it. The instructions are fairly basic, but I'll get into that in a second. So of course, you wanna make sure that it is charged up. Uh, this light will flash green when charging and it will turn on via the USB. If it doesn't turn on, just plug it into the USB-C and it will light up and it'll turn on. You wanna launch the application, which is called RC Gears. And then as you can see, it's called the GNS Performance Analyzer. Hit that and you will see here, you're going to need to allow Bluetooth, click allow. And eventually, as you can see, it'll turn on. It is pretty much that easy. However, if you do have problems and it doesn't turn on, again, just stick a USB into it. As you can see, the power light is actually white. Sorry, I said it was green. It's the GPS that is green and it will flash white when it's charging. And to turn it off, you just want to hit the off button. But as for settings, you've got the name, so you can rename it if you wish. You can go into records and it should list a bunch of records that you've made, as well as being able to delete those if you wish. Going into units, you'll be able to check either miles or kilometers. Then you've got your firmware and then you've got clear cache on device. It's pretty much that simple. You also have like a drag mode, which you can add in your speeds and distances, all that good stuff. I haven't really used that mode. I mainly just use the track mode, which records my speed. And also you've got flying. So track, start, that's where you hear that from. So when you do start it, it will analyze the speed. As you can see, if I move it, there you go. It's recording the speed. When the GPS, or for instance, your RC car, because that's what you'll have it stuck to, goes further away than the Bluetooth can reach, this will stop displaying. However, when you get back, it will display again. You just got to give it a second, but I'll show you that outside. When you hit stop and read it, it'll come up with all your test data. So you can see it's in track mode, how much distance you covered, the time that was elapsed, and the average speed as well as your maximum speed which i'm sure is what we are all interested in and by hitting share you'll be able to go in and share it as much as you like as for inside that's about it it's a pretty simple device uh, it does have a reset button i've never actually had to use that though and i will leave links in the description where you can pick these up from uh, you can get a pretty cheap from like places like banggood but I'll, I'll try and leave a few different options Installing it is rather simple. Just find a spot on your RC car that you wish to install it on. I've chosen here just up on the receiver box. Or when there's not a lot of room, you can stick it on top of the body shell or even underneath. Also be sure that when you're sticking it on, you're not gonna hit anything and you've got a nice clean surface, which I do not. Also a little tip, make sure to face the USB out so it is easily accessible in case that when you try and turn it on, it doesn't turn on and you've got to stick the USB into it to get it powered up. It's been way too long since I've used this RC car, so I really want to take it out for a spin. So let's get out there guys so I can show you not just the RC car in action, but also how the GPS works. Listen to that. Be sure that when you do put the cover on, everything fits nice and snug. So you've got to wait for the GPS, but it is enabled. So you just want to hit track and start. That's how you enable it. Hey guys, the coast is clear. Let's get it. This is only 4S. Cut out a bit there, I think. Oh, I've lost. lost power in the rear, that's why. Okay, after yesterday's catastrophe, we've got it 
finally working again, so track and start again, of course. And now we can do a proper forest speed run. That's more like it. That car's going the opposite direction, which is perfect. I think I just need to adjust the steering a little. You do want to just go over your GPS, hit stop. Once that comes up as read, you hit read. But you will have to sometimes give it a second to initiate. That is 105 kilometers an hour. That is, that is quite fast on 4S. Well, at least in my opinion. And then you can come over the settings and hit unit, go to miles. Now you go back, hit read again, and it'll give you miles, 65 miles an hour. Also, in all this data, you'll see you've got your distance traveled, the time elapsed, and your average speed. And if you do switch it over to kilometers metric, you will see the metrics as well. Guys, even without a gyro, I just love the way this thing handles. I know this is becoming more of a limitless video than a GPS video. Unfortunately, everything has cut off due to <laughs> overheating. That's kind of my bad. I need a better fans. <laughs> Found the drive cut from yesterday. <laughs> Still in the RC car. Guys, if you're a huge RC enthusiast, then I recommend picking one up. And even if you're not, who doesn't love to see how fast they went? Whether it's a plane, boat, or an RC car, they're pretty universal for all. If you are gonna use it in the water, make sure to wrap it in a balloon or something waterproof. That is it for this video, you absolute legends. I love you all. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, bye.